Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Woohoo. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, I hope that you had a, a wonderful day. Um, I'm doing this in kind of the early evening. Um, and I also hope that you had a good holiday. I hope that you were able to eat some tasty food. I hope you were able to get some rest. I hope that you were able to have good communication with people that you care for. And um, this holiday for me was a little different. Um, normally, uh, me and my guy, we like make a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of food. And sometimes we take some of this over to friend's house, but we mainly just do this super ridiculously wonderful, fun, horn of plenty thing where we just make so many different dishes and then we just like eat them throughout the week. But this time it felt, it felt a little different. And we, we talked about making, um, we, well, I talked about making a pie for a friend and then um, he started thinking about it too. And he thought, oh, that was a great idea. Let's like, you know, let's, let's do this. And I was like, yeah, let's do this. Let's make some pies. And it just felt so good to specifically be making um, food for folks to enjoy and to be able to have a way to connect with them and to share love in that way. And um, it was just a really nice feeling. And I saw on Facebook some other friends were doing some wonderful things and um, giving out food. And I was like, oh, that's so great, so wonderful. And it made me so happy. And it really uh, was more fulfilling after giving, because what we did is we went and we gave the food out, uh, gave the pies out uh, first before we uh, really got into the second part of cooking. And it just felt so good. And I felt actually kind of relieved after giving out uh, the food. I felt relieved about like, okay, now that I've you know given some love out there in the world and shared some love and some kindness and received so much love and kindness, um, now it's like, okay, yeah, go ahead and make a ridiculously huge meal. Because kind of like it felt more like, deserving of it afterwards. I don't know what that was exactly, but it just made me feel better about the food that I was about to eat because I already kind of felt like I, I you know what I mean, I fed. So yeah, I fed others and I was fed, you know, emotionally. So yeah, so something about that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and read you these two original poems. And uh, the poem is called Profound. Okay, so Profound Poem, A Request. So here's the first part. Being, then, Cultivating, choosing, then navigating until that wanting is sated, that place, your place, this time, your time, those issues, past, misadventures that clung like barnacles. Get the steel scrubber or the plastic putty knife until you are free. And you say, when they ask you, and now they always seem to ask you, have you always lived so intensely? I've been curious from the start. Uh, became brave on the chase, uh, saw the lack and the overflow of the profound in so many situations, collaborations, places, people, that it shaped my hope and focused my dreams, if that makes any sense to you. Your eyes gleam, a smile sits easy on your face and it does before and after the panty drop before and after the contract signed before and after the rhythm found the flights caught the long afternoons and nights and mornings of creation your smile it's easy on your face now. Okay, that's part one. And here's part two. Profound poem, part two. A request. <clears throat> Flat. Half awake. Soft, padded warmth. Holding one's body like a lover. Mm. Rain. 
purring like a cat. Everything is blooming in sepia tones. Droplets cling to the tree outside the window. The sound of fat little pats on the branches, all skinny from winter, give way to oh, hard thuds. Then nothing but peace. Then cold, moist air. I burrow underneath my covers, fascinated by the greatness of life. <laughs> That's it. Those are the poems for you for this week. Thank you so much for listening in. Um, thank you so much for your time. And I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, fantastic week that feels good, that you have a good time, that you're safe and that you're happy and the people that you love and care for are safe and happy. And I hope you do something good and kind and gentle and generous to you, for yourself this week as well. Something that's good for you, that makes you happy, that is to, you know, to please you and please your spirit, okay? All right, so I'm giving you kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And I'm giving you hugs. Oh, nice strong hugs all around you. And uh, yeah, thank you again for tuning in. Mwah. See you next Sunday. Bye.